All right, what is up, guys? This is Paul again for Replica Gun Reviews, and today we have with us the long-awaited Crossman C AK-1. Um, now, before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that my usual camera setup couldn't see the whole length of this gun, so I had to switch the camera setup. So, pardon if I'm at a different angle now. Um, but yeah, guys, the C AK-1. Um, I did the unboxing yesterday. I got it just yesterday. Um, now, this morning, unfortunately, I have to say I discovered an issue with it. And I know it is a brand new gun, so I know there's bound to be uh, bugs to work out. But it kind of upset me. Like it, 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 I'm really conflicted because I love the gun and I'd rather not return it over such a stupid issue. But it is like... You know, it is something to return it over, and I'll get to that soon. Uh, but first, let me get into some specs, and I want to show you the gun first in detail. Um, so this thing has some weight to it. As you can see, it's all black. Um, it weighs 8 pounds exactly, and it's actually uh, 34.5 inches total in length. So that's about 3 feet and a couple inches long. Um, so it's quite long. You have an adjustable stock, 6 positions, so you can pull it out. Um, now on this side, it has a button uh, right there. You just press that in and it folds the stock in. Now one thing about the stock is that it does not lock once it's folded in. So if you turn it, it does fall. Not all the way, but it does come out. Um, so I'm going to open that for now. Um, so this is what it looks like from front to back. You got the muzzle. You got your fixed front sight, by the way. Um, the rear sight is metal removable and adjustable for elevation so you have a, a rear metal sight that's adjustable um, which is awesome um, let me fold the stock back into um so yeah you got ton of pickets and rail on this thing you got rail right here you got rail at the bottom you got rail at the this side too and then you have rail all the way down here so that's quite a lot of rail, and you can remove this sight, as I said, the rear sight, so that you can put whatever you want on there. Um, this thing is awesome, though. Um, all it has on it, really, is the Crossman logo. It says Full Auto. Um, by the way, this is the bolt right here. It is metal, um, so you just pull that back, um, and that's metal. Uh, this is the safety selector. As you can see, you have three firing positions. You have safe fully auto and semi auto so right now it's in safe right now it's in full auto right now it's in semi auto so that's the, the safety selector right there um then you have your mag release which is also metal if you just push that forward you can take out the magazine like that um this thing holds 28 rounds um it shoots at a cyclic rate of 1400 rounds per minute um which is quite fast now it did come with a speed loader, it doesn't have a BB reservoir, but um, you know, it did come with a speed loader, which is nice. Um, I have a billion of these, but it's always nice that they throw in something like that. Um, but anyways, yeah guys, um, by the way, uh, the stock is AR compatible, um, so you can switch that out. And um, the, uh, the grip is AK compatible, it's an AK compatible pistol grip. It's checkered also, um, so it has a nice texture on it. So you can see. Now on this side of the gun though, as you can see, it's kind of bland. There's nothing on it really. Um, so maybe you could put something on there. You just got your warning and then that's it, literally. Um, but this side is where everything is located. So all you really need to, to use on this gun is the bolt, the safety, the mag release, and the trigger. The trigger is metal. The trigger guard is metal. Um, the grip is polymer, the body, the outside at least is polymer, except for for some reason this here. This is all metal, so I'm assuming it's metal underneath and inside also, so there's definitely a ton of metal in this. Um, you could feel it, it certainly feels like there's a lot of metal in it. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this uh, specs guys. Um, I think I mentioned as I said it weighs 8 pounds, um, but yeah, for the specs that's all. So, I'm going to show you how to load BBs into this thing now. So to load BBs, all you do is um, you just take the magazine release. You just push it forward like that. Take the mag out. Always make sure you're on safe, by the way, guys. Just make sure you're in the top position. Now, the magazine has a spring. Unfortunately, it doesn't lock. That so you just pull all the way down like that. 
Um, and then that's the BB loading port right there, that little circle. And you load all your BBs and you can see them sliding down. Now, it's best to put the BBs on a surface and pick them up or use the speed loader because it's too difficult by hand. So I'll show you a few and then uh, I'll be right back with you when I'm almost done. So let me just grab a couple BBs really quick. Show you how to load those and then uh, I'll be right back with you. So you just pull the spring down. I have two BBs in my hand as you can see. And you just put them in the loading port like that. So you have one. And there you can see them rolling all the way down. I have one in there from earlier. I did not shoot it yet, but I wanted to see if the CO2 worked, which I'll get to in a second. Um, and then you have two, and then it holds 28. So I'll load the rest, and I'll be right back with you. One eternity later. All right, so now we have 27 and 28, guys. So that's it for that. So that's how you load your BBs, and you just let go of the spring, and it locks them all into place. Now to load CO2, so I'll show you how to load CO2 now. Um, I did it during the unboxing because if you look, this is clearly how you open the uh, the uh, cover. But it seems to me like it, or did apparently at first, um, like the thin side would have come off. But it's actually the thick side that comes off. And you can see me making that mistake in the unboxing. So you just simply pry it off like that. Um, and it comes right off. Now to put it back on, it has like this plastic outcropping right there. And you just slide that in um, like that. And then the bottom just snaps on. Um, now this is where the issue starts though, guys. Because this CO2 uh, cartridge um, leaks every time. I've tried three CO2 cartridges. And I'll show you on camera. It comes, all the CO2 leaks instantly. So... The seal is clearly broken on it already. This side is perfectly fine, so I'm pretty sure I could still shoot it and at least show you guys how it works and stuff. But um, I'm really disappointed that this side does not work because i really rather not return it because, like, how long am I going to have to wait, like, a couple weeks to a month before I even get a refund or a replacement? Like, so, I don't know, guys. Um, But I'm going to show you on camera. Anyways... It comes with an Allen key, by the way, in the magazine. Um, now I have the screws all the way down so it won't fit, but it doesn't jiggle or anything. It actually sits nicely right there, um, but the screws have to be up uh, so you can store it right there. So I'm going to do the one that works well first. So usually I uh, always tell people to use Pelgon oil. But um, someone commented to me the other day about another oil. So what I'll say is use whatever oil is best for you. But just make sure you oil your guns always, definitely, before you shoot them. Um, so all you do is just apply one drop like this to the top of the CO2 capsule. Just one little drop. And then in the CAK1, it goes neck first. So you just put it in. Now I'm going to do the good side first so that it doesn't blast all over first. So this is a side that does not leak. Um, so I can tighten it and it doesn't leak. See, nothing. Um, it, you heard a little bit maybe, but it, it's tight and then it's good to go. This side will not, I tighten it all the way and all the CO2 comes out. So I will show you that now. I just want to put you guys onto this in case you buy it. Maybe you want to wait a little till they work out some things. Um, because mine came like this exactly. I just got it yesterday. I have not even shot it yet or loaded CO2 in it until this morning. So I'll show you now what happens. So you put the CO2 capsule in. I hate wasting a CO2 capsule. But um, then you just... Uh, oh man, this is going to suck. But then you just tighten it. Um... So you feel like it's going to pierce. Let me use the long side. Like that. And then. Now I'm just going to turn it as best I can. Oh wow. It did not pierce. It didn't come out that time. Um, For some reason guys. The last two CO2 cartridges. I put this in. That I put in this. I actually did this uh, review twice already. And both times that I had loaded this. This, this side, for some reason, all the CO2 just kept blasting out every time. So I was super upset. So pardon me, guys, for that. It does work. I don't know what was going on. Maybe I had to hold it upside down because the first time I was holding it like this when I tightened it. I don't really know. It doesn't specify that anywhere in the manual. 
I literally just read the manual because I was super tight. Um, but man, that just restored my faith. I am super happy that that didn't happen. And I'm glad I didn't have to show you that it didn't work. Um, so it does work. <laughs> um, so anyways, guys, um, what you do now is you just take your plastic outcropping, goes first like that. And then you just snap the bottom in. And then you have all your BBs loaded, as I said. Um, now you just take your AK. Make sure you're on safe, always. You pop your mag in, like that. And when you're ready to fire, anyway, you can't, when you're on safe, you can't pull the trigger. When you're ready to fire, just pull the bolt back. Um, put, pick a selector, pick semi-auto semi -auto or fully auto, and just let them rip. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna do a side profile of me shooting it. This thing does have blowback action. So that bolt does move back and forth as you shoot. So I will show you that, guys. Um, I'm so happy that that, that CO2 cartridge didn't leak. The last few or couple of CO2 cartridges that I put in just totally leaked everywhere. And it sucked. I was so tight. I was like, man, now I have to return it. And now I have to wait for it again. Blah, 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 blah. My girlfriend was like, ah, oh, babe, come on. Because I was complaining, complaining, complaining. But, um... I was just so happy to get this thing, and it sucked that it. I thought it was broken, and I was so upset. But um, I'm really glad that that didn't happen on um, this time. So now I know I'm just going to hold the magazine upside down when you load CO2. Guys, so sorry for the cutting, but two things I want to say is that, um, A, uh, it seems that, just to let you know, it seems that last couple takes I did, this CO2 cartridge, as I said, just poured out when I screwed it in. Um, when I screwed both CO2 cartridges in, I was holding it this way. This one poured out both times. This one sealed correctly. Um, when I held it this way, though, this one did not spill out. So, I don't know if it's just mine or if it's a user error or what, but just to give you a heads up, maybe you want to hold uh, when you're piercing the one to the right maybe hold that upside down um when you're piercing it um because it didn't leak when i held it upside down but both times i had it this way and pierced it this one right here just came flying out all over the place and burned the hell out of my hand because it was so cold um the other thing that i wanted to point out was that i made a mistake um in the review this spring here when you pull it down, it actually does lock into place. As you can see, there's a little groove there. I did not notice that. Um, I apologize for that, but it does lock in. And the speed loader is awesome. Um, so, uh, yeah, guys, it does lock in. And, again, I would suggest when loading the left one in, hold it upside down. Um, you could try it, you know, if you're willing to waste a CO2 cartridge. Maybe it was just mine. Um, but definitely hold it upside down when doing this one. Um... Or try it, you know, it's up to you. But um, anyways, guys, that's it. So let's move on. Um, so if you buy this thing and you load CO2 into either side and it leaks, try just holding the magazine upside down when you hold it. So I'm not going to take it out now, but hold it upside down when you load the CO2 so that the capsule is like not resting like this. So it's resting like that, like down all the way and then tighten it. So definitely do that. Um, but yeah, guys, that's all the specs for this thing. There's really not much more else to say about it. I haven't shot it yet, so um, I'm about to go do a side profile of me shooting it so you can see the blowback action, and I'm going to set up some accuracy testing, some penetration testing, and then I will see you guys at the end of the video. I hope that this video helps you guys decide to buy this or not. I'm super glad that there wasn't an issue this time. I thought that there was. But I think it was just user error. I think it was my fault. Um, and I wasted two CO2 cartridges. But yeah, this is an awesome gun. So don't pass it up. Um, I, I apologize for saying that there was an issue. There's no issue. It was my fault. Um, this thing is awesome. The Crossman C AK-1. This thing is dope. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, let me go set up some uh, side profile shooting, some penetration testing. And I will be right back with you guys. Peace. Alrighty guys, so here we are. Uh, this is going to be my first time shooting it, so I'm super excited about this. Um, I hope that everything works out well. 
Um, we will see. Um, but uh, let's check this out. I'm gonna do it on semi-auto first. Um, it does have bull back action, as I said. So let's just see what happens. You're supposed to pull the bolt back all the way and then forward all the way before you fire. So you take it off safety like that. I'm gonna put it on semi-auto. That should be the bottom, the very bottom. Uh, notch there and then pull the bolt back and forward and that should be it and let's just see what happens here Let me just try to get a good sight on there. Oh Wow, yeah, that, that was nice All right, Let's try that in full auto Let me just make sure you guys can see that while on camera. Oh wow, I knocked the card out of the pellet trap. So uh, all the BBs are just coming out. So uh, actually I'm going to fire this up a little closer for you so you can see a little more. So I'll be right back. Guys, so I put the card back um i'm gonna try to film a bit closer for you like this so that you can see that bow back in action um so let me put this on semi-auto because there's about i think about six rounds left so um i don't want to dump them all at once so let's see what happens here let's see what we could do let me just get a good uh sight i know it's at a downward angle but my trap is at a bit of a downward angle um i don't mind as long as they go in the trap i just want to show you the bow back Alright guys, I think that's it. Yep, we are on E. So that's it for the firing. I will put that in slow motion on um, and then you know what maybe I'll load another five or six, uh maybe ten BBs and I'll do a real close up of the fully auto for you. Alrighty guys, so I loaded up actually twelve rounds. So I'm gonna put this in slow mo so you guys can get a good look at it in fully auto in uh slow mo. So let me put this on full auto and then I'm gonna let this rip in slow mo for you guys. So let me just cock this. And uh, here we go. Let's make sure you can see that well. All right, so that was all of them. I'm um, definitely gonna put that in slow mo. Um, cause that was super fast, but uh, let me clean up that mess and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, I am back. I got another 28 rounds loaded up. I'm going to back up a bit further this time than normal. Um, so I'm going to back up about maybe 12, 13 feet. And I'm going to be at a rested position, so I'm going to be resting on something. So uh, let's see what we can do with this. So I'm going to back up here, put it on semi-auto obviously, and then... Uh, Let's see if I can hit that circle in the center. All right.
Alright guys, that's it. Uh -uh. I am out. I'm on to eat here. Yep, so let's see what I did. Oh wow, so I was directly level with this thing. That is not bad at all. I could not tell from the distance I was at because I was too far away where these were hitting. So I couldn't even see. Um, I was aiming directly at this circle. Uh, like directly at it. I was super steady and everything was here. So I have to aim a little higher and I would have been right on. And, and it was very good grouping. Look at that. I mean, I, I'll judge it myself. That is awesome. Um, and that was pretty far away. So I might load up another card and move up close. And let's see what kind of spray pattern this has. Okay, guys, I'm back with a fresh card. Um, I have the CAK1 on full auto. I wanted to see what kind of spray pattern it has, whether it goes all over whether it stays uh, in a centralized point or what. So I'm going to move a lot closer um, and we'll just see what happens. So I'm going to move about maybe like three, four feet away and just unleash uh, all 28 on this. So uh, let me just get into a rested position so that they all go into the trap and then cock this thing. All right, uh, on target. Alright guys, here we go. Alright, um, let's see. That was that actually looks, um, that was actually pretty on point. Again, I was at about, it was actually about four feet away. Um, as you can see, those look like ricochets that hit the trap on the inside from here and then came back. As you can see, because those are the en ex I mean entrance uh, holes there. But uh, that's pretty impressive, actually. It was pretty uh, centralized, actually. Um, this time, what I figured with the last card was, since it tore up down here and I was aiming at the circle, I thought if I aimed up around one or two, it would hit the center. So I did that now, and it still tore up down there. So I was, it did go higher, though. The last card was down here more. So... I would say you have to aim a little higher. Um, I'm pretty level with this thing, so I, I'm pretty sure uh, maybe a scope or a sight would be better for this. Um, but anyways, you guys be the judge, and I'm going to clean this mess up, and we're going to do some penetration testing with this thing and see what we can do. Alrighty, guys, so listen, man. Um, I've been editing and recording all night, so I'm going to make this penetration test kind of short. Um... So I'm only going to shoot a few objects. Um, I just want to get this review out to you guys really quick because um, I know there's no content on this gun really right now. So I want to make sure you guys have something to look at so you can make a decision on either buying this or not. Um, so as you can see, I have my Xbox here again. Um, I used this in my last video. Um, I will link it in the description. Um, I have a fresh 28 rounds loaded up, brand new two CO2 cartridges loaded. Um, I'm going to do fully auto. The last time I shot this, nothing penetrated this side, but clearly, obviously, as you can see, it penetrated here. I didn't know that underneath this, there's like a wire, a uh, metal wire mesh, and some BBs did penetrate. So, I'm going to back up. I'm going to use semi-auto first. Um... I'm going to back up about 10 feet, maybe 8 to 10 feet anyway, um, and just unleash. I'm going to try a couple on this side first, see if we can penetrate, see if it makes any difference. Um, and if not, then I'm just going to unload totally on this side. So let me back up, I'll take this thing off safety, and unload on this. Alright, so yeah, once again, did not penetrate that side. Um, it's pretty hard. Let me shoot the other side now. Guys, 
straight heard all this BB's flying all over. Let me just put this on safe, even though it's empty. Um, that was all 28 rounds. Um, I'm gonna have to look at the footage. Um, I don't know if you watched the penetration testing and this. Um, again, I was aiming for this area, the same as the penetration testing. I was aiming right for the circle, and all the shots seemed to go lower. So. It seems like you have to aim a bit higher to get to the actual target. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, I am very level with that for sure. So um, I don't know. I guess uh, I'll see. I'm, I'm definitely going to buy an optic for this thing eventually. So I'm not going to deal with the iron sights forever. But um, uh, yeah, that's the Xbox. Um, so I'm going to reload real quick and just go fully auto on this thing and see what happens. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm back. I got another 28 rounds loaded up. Um, I'm going to go full auto on this thing. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but I'm going to go kind of point blank, not really point blank like this. Um, I'm thinking more like this, maybe a little back more. Um, and I'm just going to rip this thing up. I want to see how deep I can get into that thing. Um, because uh, if you watch my uh, accuracy testing, it was quite centralized, the, uh, the uh, fully automatic. It wasn't uh, spraying all over the place. I was kind of close, but still, um, let me just try this again. So uh, let me take this thing off safe, back up a little bit, and uh, see what happens, guys. This should make a mess. All right, guys, so here we go. Full auto, the CAK-1 on the Xbox 360. Oh, sorry, that, that was semi-auto. Pardon me. <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys. Damn, that was 28 rounds already. Yeah, that was all 28 already. It's an empty clip. Um... Uh, Shoot, man. Um, ah, a lot of those hit me in the chest. Um, didn't hurt that bad, but um, I'm gonna have to look at the footage again because I didn't want to look. Um, even with uh, you know, the protection around me, but I'm gonna have to look at the footage. But there's a wire mesh behind this thing. Let me show you a little better. Um, ah, it's heavy. I don't want to move the whole box, but uh. You can see me try to focus a little better. Behind these plastic grating, there's like a wire mesh. Um, I don't know what this is. If anyone knows what this part of the Xbox is, let me know in the comments. I'm thinking it's the fan. I, I'm assuming that's why it has these gratings. I have no idea, but um, I'm not familiar with the insides of an Xbox. Um, but nothing seems to want to penetrate this side at all. Um, Eventually, I'm pretty sure I'll get I'll get something through that. But uh, for now, nothing wants to go through that. Um, I did shoot directly the other day into the CD slot. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do that with the AK because I I'd rather wait till I had a sight or some sort of scope or something. Um, I don't trust the accuracy on this thing. Um, too much or losing these sights anyway. Um, or at least I gotta get better with it, um, before I go ahead and try that. I did it with a pistol, it was much easier, I'm much better with pistols. Um, but yeah guys, so that was the Xbox, um, I'm gonna go watch that footage. If it's great, I'll put it in slow-mo, um, if things are flying around and stuff, that's always cool looking. Um, and I'll try to mark each shot, um, because I couldn't even tell which shots, where they were hitting or not, um. I just felt BBs hitting me and bouncing all over the place. So um, let me just clean that mess up and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so I am back here with something a bit different. This used to be, anyway, my old laptop stand. Um, I haven't used this thing in years. It's just been sitting in my closet collecting dust for years, literally. Um, you just plug it in via USB into the computer and this part lifts up and it's a fan to keep your laptop or a computer cool. Um, but it doesn't, well it does work, um, I just don't use it anymore. Um, 
Right now I use a DJ stand for my laptop um, set up because I have a mixer under it and everything. So I figured I'd just shoot the hell out of this thing. This thing is guaranteed to break the pieces. Um, this thing is some flimsy plastic. I'm sure you can hear that. I could probably puncture my finger through it if I tried hard enough. Um, so I'm going to do this a few shots on semi-auto. I might kill the last few shots on full auto. But um, I think this is going to be it for the penetration testing. It's getting really, really late. Um, I usually don't even record this late, but I really wanted to get this review out for you guys tonight. Um, so you have it. Um, so uh, let me back up. I got another 28 rounds loaded up. Um, I'm going to start on semi-auto, like I said, and then finish off on full auto. So let me back up about, uh, let's say, about 7 feet, 8 feet. And then um, I'm going to shoot, obviously, I'm going to shoot for the fan areas. I'm not going to shoot around it, or I'm going to attempt to anyway. Let me just back up, take the thing off safety, put it on semi-auto, and get into a good rested position here. And uh, cock it. And let's see what we can do. This thing's going to get torn up, I bet you. Uh, let me make sure I'm on semi. Yep. Alright, guys, here we go with the first shot. I'm going for the right fan. Alright, so I gotta go a little higher. Oh, a dead center. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna attempt. On full auto, I'm going to give it one little tap on the trigger and see what happens. Oh, actually, that's not as flimsy as I thought it was. I mean, they are penetrating, but they are bouncing back a lot of the BBs. I'm going to put this thing back on full auto, I mean, semi auto. Let me see how many rounds I have left. Um. Oh wow, there's about five or six rounds left. Um, so yeah, I'm going to dump those on semi-auto. Um, I'm just going to shoot for the left fan. I'm going to go for the center. Alright, that was it. So there's what, one, two, three, four shots left in there. Um, it did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Um, and I didn't even realize this part right here is not plastic. It just sounds plastic. It's because of this. This is what you're hearing. This is actually metal because now I'm realizing that it's, it just took the paint off of it. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. Um, I had originally thought that this mesh here was plastic, but now I can see that the BBs took the paint right off it. So. It was not plastic at all, it was metal. This part is plastic, the chassis around it. Let me zoom out so I can show you what I mean. This part here is all plastic. So that part um, probably would have had much more significant damage. Um, I'll load up one more shot and I'll be right back with you guys. Or a couple more shots and we'll shoot that this plastic part right here and see what happens. Alright guys, so I'm back. I just used the speed loader just to load like maybe like, I think it was like four or five, six rounds in. And I'm going to shoot this area. I'm going to go point blank just to make sure I hit it. Um, or pretty close to point blank. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll go right through that. That seems pretty flimsy. I had no idea that this was metal, but it still went through as you can see. It penetrated. Um, it just... Uh, it's going to take a lot more shooting to get rid of a lot of this metal so that we could get to the plastic inside. But I have a few rounds in here and I'm just going to unload right onto this plastic part right there and see what happens, guys. Oh, shoot, I never cocked it. That would help. Alright, guys. Oh yeah, definitely. Went right through. Alright, that was it. So, 
that didn't load that many shots into it. Uh, let me just put this on safe. Yeah, as you can see, it easily went right through that plastic, ate right through it. Um, let me see if it went through the back side at all. Let me just, there's BBs all up inside this thing. Uh, so nothing came through the back side of that. Um, not yet. Oh, a BB just fell out of it. Um, so no damage yet. Um, I'm, I might make a penetration video part two for the CAK one since this one wasn't that long. Um, and I'm going to flip this thing around, shoot it. I'll get a bunch of interesting objects to shoot at. Um, and we'll see what we can do. Um, I want to see some stuff explode and put it in slow-mo. I love slow-mo, watching like glass break in slow-mo and stuff. It looks cool as hell. Um, but anyways, guys, yeah, that's it for the penetration testing for this video. I just want to go edit this real quick and get this out to you guys. So, um, I'll see you at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed that. Alrighty, guys, so that was the Crossman AK-1. Um, give me a like if you like this video. Um, I didn't want to make, again, the penetration testing too long because I just wanted to get this, uh, review out to you guys as soon as possible because I know you guys are looking for information on this gun and there's not a lot out there yet, um, so pardon the short penetration testing in this video, um, I was actually speaking to my girlfriend before and I was thinking, um, I'll talk to you guys later maybe in a vlog about it, um, so we can have a conversation in the comment section maybe, but, um, I was actually thinking about separating my videos from now on and doing just the review and then having the penetration testing maybe as a part two of the review, um, but you guys let me know what you think in the comments, but... Man, the CAK-1 is dope as hell. Definitely go pick this up. Um, if you have the money, I know it's quite a bit of money. $200 is not cheap, um, especially now when times are tight. <laughs> Sorry, monkey just walked right into the camera. But um, definitely go pick it up. This thing is awesome. It is totally worth your while. Um, you won't be sorry. Um, I had a user error, it was my issue again, pardon me again for, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the CO2 thing, um, I don't know what was going on, but for some reason, every time I put that cartridge in upside down, it works fine, but when I hold the, the magazine this way, it leaks, so just, uh, take note of that, if you get yours, if you do pick it up, comment in this video, let me know, um, if your CO2 cartridges pierce the same, otherwise, um, just so I know whether it's mine, if it's defective or what, you know, but, um, anyways, guys, yeah, so, that's the Crossman C AK-1, and this is Paul from Replica Gun Reviews, and I hope you all enjoy your night, and I will see you later, peace.